obviously not the outcome that we wanted, but you know, you're playing against a great team in this in this conference, and you know it's, it's a it's a grind every day in this conference. I don't care who, who you're playing against, what day, what night, it doesn't matter. You know, it's, it's really good teams in that conference. All the games have been, you know, yesterday we're really close, and obviously when today is those games where you gotta. Hopefully you have enough win on, on to finish the game, um, but it's not an excuse for us. You know we had shots, we had layups. You know we missed a lot of shots, but you can't miss shots and make mistakes against a team like Notre Dame. I'm just really proud of our kids for coming in and uh, you know competing and winning two games in this tournament. You know this is this is a tough tournament, it's the toughest tournament in the country, and I thought that our kids really play hard. And you know at, at the end of the day, these are my players and these are my kids. This is my program. I'm a ride with my team, and I and I ain't gonna even count the mileage. It, it is what it is. So we just gonna keep doing what we do, and get ready for the NCAA tournament. And you know, all the credit goes to Notre Dame today for being a better team. Uh, questions right here in the front row in the middle. Yes, Jonathan Hoppy, Z eighty nine Sports. Coach, do you feel like you've done enough for your team to get to host in the tournament? Well, I mean, we got a ten RPI, and I think like what a three strength of schedule. <laughs> if we don't, <laughs> I mean. They got to change the whole criteria, right? I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, yeah, we have. Fifth row in the middle. Landon Ball, Spectacular Magazine. This is for Coach. You had a coaching career here in North Carolina where it first started. Mm -hmm. So how did it feel for you to be back here in North Carolina coaching again? Man, if it wasn't for the Lauren Institute and the Patterson School, I ain't here, man. So it's, <laughs> it's fantastic, man. I love Love being here, you know, love being in this state and, and just have fond memories of, of coaching prep school and, and being here in North Carolina. You know, it's a great region, great area. I, I love it here. You have a follow-up? And, like, on that same note, what are some of the lessons you learned by coaching prep school here? Teaching and, 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 and trying to just, just, just push your kids to be, the, to be the best they can be and not let them settle. You know, obviously being in some of those situations at those prep schools, those were kids where this, that was their last chance. And they, they had to make it. And I'm really proud to say that, you know, we had a lot of kids going to Division One programs and, and play at a high level, and, it, and, and they're doing great, you know, in the, in the business sector and in the community. Some of them still playing pro. So it was, a, it was a great time for me, man. It was two really good experiences, man, that, man, that made me a hard worker and made me appreciate winning. Right here in the front. Dakota Palmer with the News House. This is for both of you. What have you taken from this weekend that you're going to apply to the NCAA tournament? Well, I think the biggest thing that we got to understand is that from this game, we know that we got to make shots. The games where you don't make shots and you, and, you, and you don't shoot a great percentage, you know, you're going to have a hard time winning that game. I talked about we need to shoot, you know, 40, 40 some odd percent to have a chance to win this game. Maybe at 30 percent again, and we can't shoot the ball that way against a really good team like this. And a bad shot for them is like an outlet pass. So you got to take really good shots, get the ball in the net so you can get your defense set. So just more than anything, that's important. And we know that we can play with anybody. We never thought that we couldn't. So, so that's just a mute point for us. Tiana? Yeah, uh, I think a lot of us have learned um, the importance of recovery and stretching. Um, I think it's really tough playing three games in a row. And um, yeah, we just need to make sure we take care of our bodies after games and um, as well on the court, just play to the very end and try and take away what they're good at. So take away, you know, the high-low action, the lob, all of that stuff. And yeah, just recover properly and be prepared for the NCAA tournament. In the back on the aisle. Uh, yes, uh, Quinn. Notre Dame can hurt you in so many different positions. Do you try to steer the ball and, and uh, you know, pick your poison as far as who's going to take shots, or, or do you just have to take what comes? No, you know, it's, it's, it's tough because they have so much balance. <coughs> Excuse me. They have, they have so much balance, and <laughs> we, we really wanted to try, to try to pack the paint some. You know, when you got shooters on the perimeter that can that can make shots, you know, we can we can talk about it and say this this is what we're gonna do, but it's kinda hard to not start easing out a little bit to the perimeter to take care of some of those perimeter um, shots. But at the end of the day, you know, they just have a lot of balance. You know, you, it's it's hard to sit on one thing on them. But we did try to pack the paint and try to play off the high post a little bit, but they but they did a good job of getting the ball through the high post and getting the ball out to out to the perimeter. 
and then attacking us off the bounce. So they just they just did a good job. That's what good teams do. Whatever you do, whatever you give them, I mean, they capitalize on it, and they did. In the back again on the aisle. Okay. Um, Philip Deutsch, Greensboro News and Record. Um, what what can you say about the depth of the ACC this year? Uh, playing a tough schedule all season long. Um, what what where do you think the ACC rates compared to years past and the rest of conferences this season? Well, the rest of conferences it ain't close, so that shouldn't even be in the conversation. There's a, there's not a conference that's close to this conference from top to bottom. You know when you when you when you think about when the teams that have new coaches and, and the and the and the turnarounds, you know. Man, there, Clemson, you know, turn them into an NCAA tournament team. You know, they should be in. You know, you look at even Pitts playing, playing hard, and they're being aggressive, and they're playing a different style of basketball. But, you know, they're doing a good job there. And I think the top of, top of our conference is they got two two to three teams that could be in the Final Four. So no, nothing surprises me with this conference on what can happen towards the end of the season because this is, this is a very strong conference. I don't think it's close. Right, same place. Yes, Matt Trecanelli from uh, Herb FM Sports Radio. Coach, so you talk about like a uh, face and bounce team like Notre Dame and stuff. So how, when you get into the NCAA tournament, will you go ahead and change what you're doing and try to um, and, uh, try to go ahead and fix your uh, issues with that in the NCAA tournament? We don't have to change it because it ain't going to be Notre Dame. What like yeah. other course? What, what like other uh, teams and stuff? I'm sure you're going to face other balanced teams. Sure, sure. I think that uh, yes, definitely, definitely we're going to going to face balanced teams. But I don't know if you're going to face any teams that's going to be as good at all five positions as Notre Dame is. And I, was, I wasn't really trying to be funny or sarcastic. I'm just being honest. They are just a really good team, and they have scores at all five positions. And they're going to be Notre Dame, and I think they will be able to play some of our same schemes and not and not get hurt so much in those positions. Any more questions for Coach or Tiana? Coach, thank you. Thank you. Have a good one.